Following the collapse of an eight-story building in Oweridimo State Capital, the Deputy Governor, Professor Placid Njoku, has expressed dismay over the ugly incident. The Deputy Governor, who visited the scene after the incident, to ascertain the level of damage caused by the collapsed building, sympathized with the family of those who lost loved ones. Only two dead bodies confirmed from here since we arrived over uh, three hours ago, and uh, nine plus two recovered alive. That's eleven are taking treatment at the hospital, but two confirmed dead. It is unbelievable, from what I hear, that somebody would develop a building like this without clear standards. The indication is that the developer does not have the authorization to develop a building like this. If this is proven to be true, government is going to be very, very upset. And frankly, this plot of land will naturally be revoked. If he has a seal on it, it must be revoked. I think that Imo State wants development, but we want organized development. We want legal development, not illegal development. We have a government, we have standards, we have institutions, and if we have to develop a project, we we'll go through the institutions and get appropriate authorization to do what we must do. And then we keep to standards. For somebody to develop such a, attempt to develop such a huge building without recourse to standards, recourse to the institutions of government that are responsible, is something that I think the law will have to ask questions. We will not tolerate illegality like this. And now we're hearing that human lives have been lost here. There are even more people trapped inside. Reports reaching us now is that two more bodies have been recovered from the collapsed building.